Hey nerds. Hey nerds. So we went on Mayo V Marathon today. Which was exhausting. And we wanted to rate the films. And you know, in the order. So these are the not talked about how we saw them. What was we we don't start at the top or the bottom of the list? I'm gonna stop to the top. Alright, we're gonna mark our way down. And why it made the slot it did. You get to go first. What was your top? My top was Carol. Okay. It was... My top was Carol. <laughs> entrancing. It was amazing. It was powerful. It was... It was meaningful. It... Nothing it, felt forced. And it traded the line between something like really like open and quote unquote liberal and something that like is very, very relatable. Like it, it just balances itself very well. It's... It it's, just a, it's just an amazing piece of cinema. All right. Two. Uh, I think I'll say a night before. I'm going to say the road trip. Oh, JK, the, JK. It was, it was definitely the night before. I don't know. I really enjoyed the night before because, like, it was like a real bro movie. But, like, it didn't have to be bro by gender, you know? I mean, although, I guess, like... Some people consider bro a genderless term, but nonetheless. Yeah, they use a really uh, big three wise men analogy. Um, it's a Starner flick. A really well composed one, I think. Um, no, I was wrong. A here. journey flick, I guess you could also say. Because, you know, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, like we have a goal in mind. It was definitely my second. Because it was like he said, a journey flick. And, and that one, you know, was all about bonding with someone you hate. It's like, hey, I can't stand you for a ton of reasons that I think are self-deserved. However, the more time I spend with you, the more I realize you're just a tortured soul and I don't know anything about you and I've been judging you from the get-go. So maybe we should take a step back, get to know each other a little bit more, and work from there. And Alvin's an asshole. A beautiful asshole. No, just an asshole. Theodore is beautiful. But he's not an asshole. That's what the A stands for. I'm okay. Um, <laughs> but I also really nice. liked um, The Night Before because it's like a movie about like like moving on and like basically, and I, I do really love this, like not bullshitting your friends, like being real with them and like also trying to help them not just being like, hey, you have problems and then not helping them deal with it. Like, yeah. you're going to be uh, big enough to, like, throw your friend's problems in their face in the most uh, real way possible. You sh- should be ready to help them. Otherwise, why are you even their friend? That's why it's my number three. Because, I mean, the, the power and the lesson of friendship and shit you should already know by the time you're in your mid-20s, early 20s, honestly. Well, I know, think it also had a good... I think that movie embodies the fact that no one really knows what the fuck they're talking about. I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it's glorious. I mean, these guys are all, I don't know. Upwards of 30. Yeah, early 30s, mid 30s, maybe even like no, I'm mid thinking, 30s. I'm thinking right? early to mid 30s. Like, you know, none of them are older than 36, and none of them know what the fuck they're doing. The athlete, well, yeah, the athlete guy is fucking up. The father guy, is f- sorry, the Jewish guy is fucking up. And the main character is a total fuck up. And his two friends are judging him about how much of a fuck-up he is because they have to emotionally babysit him every Christmas. And then he's judging them, and they're judging each other, and it's a whole circle of, hi, we're best friends, but I don't know what the fuck I do in an adult friendship. Can we go back to high school? No. Well, I mean, that's how it feels, though. Oh, sorry, I thought you were asking me an actual question. God, no. Okay, so I guess my... Man, I don't know. Your I don't want to. I don't want to say that I like Joy more. Than, sorry, I don't want to say that I like the road trip more but than you Joy. Did. I was fascinated by Joy, but I think I had a lot more fun but in the road trip. You did. He did. He laughed a I'm, lot. And I danced in my seat. A movie that makes me dance in my seat is a very nice movie. It was entertaining as much as embarrassing. But I feel like it's a movie that not a lot of people would. Like you don't on the really same level give I a do. chance to, because I mean, if you don't like the chipmunks and the grainy voices and the fact that it is a hundred percent a kids movie, then you're not gonna like the kid, the you know, Alvin Chipmunks. It's not gonna happen, 
right? You're predestined to not like it. Now, if you can tolerate chipmunks or have a lot of nostalgia back behind it, then you are going to love this movie. Not because it plays on your nostalgia, but because it is entertaining as fuck to see like the little chipmunks do modern songs. You know what's really sad for me? The fact that I think a lot of people are going to like Joy just because it has Jennifer Lawrence in it. Not to say that I think she's a bad actor, but the pacing... She has a baby face. So the reason why Joy made the bottom of our list, and maybe you don't agree with this, I felt like a documentary, if you watch once, you absorb the information you need from it, and you don't rewatch it. You, you check the information that you think you remember from the movie or documentary with other sources if you care to know more about it, and if you don't, you let it die. I disagree just a little bit because I feel like it wasn't so much facty, and it didn't slap you in the face with a year of everything that was happening and stuff. So it didn't feel like it was like forcing all the facts down our throat, but it did feel like it was on predetermined wills that uh, that didn't let the story go where it could have gone. And I think there was a lot of emotional uh, strength in it, but the brevity of that... Um, there was a lot of emotional blackmail in it. Oh my gosh, there was That's so much That's what emotional. it was. Oh yeah, it made me hate families. Right, it's like, like it's technically an anti-Christmas movie if you think about it. I mean, it's, it's a technically Christmas a movie music about because you know she when she gets what she wants in the end. But the entire movie is about hi, my name is Joy. My family hates me. They're gonna tear me down. But I, like my grandmother said, is a matriarch. I will hold this family together and build us up from nothing. And I will keep us strong. You know what? Actually, uh, I felt was a similarity between Joy and Carol. Mm. How like. They were all about like women's roles in society, in a way, and how regardless of like their ambitions or their goals, like someone else, maybe not always a man, and in Carol's case, a man, but like someone else who thinks they know better than you, um, like comes down on you and yeah. then has the fucking nerve to criticize you for the decision they made for you. It's it's not um, it's not power over you. Right? Maybe power isn't the word you want to go with. Influence. Yes. Inf- anything over you. Age, influence, money, power, Love. size, experience in anything. I know more about how to run a business than you because I know how to fish. Do you know how to fish? You don't know how to fish. So obviously I can run this business and you can't. She's, she's not speaking literally. Or I mean, I do know how to fish though. So obviously I no, probably No, I mean know. in the movie. But, like, I know how to say I'm done. I'm done. I miss my bow. Where's your bow go? It's in your bag. Oh. Yeah, no, it's in your bag. Okay. So, those are, our, those are our rankings. Carol makes the top of both our lists. Joy makes the bottom, which is unfortunate because those two movies have could have had a lot in common. They touch on some of the same issues. And they both managed to be very, I don't want to use the word feminine, um, but yeah, no. They, they've, they're feminist as shit. They're, they're feminist as shit, but they're not political, which is, you know, very important. They're very female first, moving forward. We got this. It's about Without the person's being, like, experience. You know, and it men kind are of, evil and, you know. Well, Carol almost had the message of men are evil. Almost no, pretty Carol much every dude in Carol was a douche. Was abusive. So not that men or are controlling. evil, but you just need to be careful. As that you shit. don't allow yourself to be controlled. Which is what she did at the very end. Because you saw she could have friendships with men. So, I mean, Carol, I mean... Carol was great. Joy, on the other hand, showed that if if you're a dedicated woman and you love your family, you're gonna stick through them thick and thin and let them run you ragged. And no matter what they do to hurt you, you're gonna be there to pull them from the dirt. So they can stab you in the goddamn back. And then you'll pull them up again. By the because fucking handle of the the, of knife the knife that they in stab your bag. You with. Yeah. Yeah, you're just like, oh, that's just that's just a better grip for you. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is actually a very depressing film. Well, you know, we are biased though. We are shit ton biased, but I'm sure lots is... of people found it hard when it's like, look what she did for her family. I feel like well, we're first spoiling off, it. If anyone 
fuck that. If anyone finds this movie heartwarming, I'm talking to you. If you find this movie heartwarming, you are a terrible person. You need to check your privilege. I mean, are you serious? Honestly, think about it from a different point of view. Don't think about it from the, ha, ah, she's a caring family member. No, think of her as an individual, which the oh, movie wait. tries to portray. She's a victim. Yes. Yes, she is. Her she wins in the vic- She wins in the end, technically, but she's a victim. She's a victim. And at the very end, she's still a victim. She loses. Well, at least she didn't just let her family, like, like push her to basically no. finish the cycle of failure. Joy, if I could speak to that character directly, I'd let her know it sucks to be you. You need counseling. You need therapy. And you need to let your family burn. I mean, you need to cut them loose. Like, your kids are great. Your ex is great. Your grandma's great. Your mom's great. great. Your mom's whatever is great. But the rest of that family? Now, mind you, that was a bit of a spoiler, so. Yeah. All right. But, I mean, you're seeing Joy for Jennifer Lawrence. You're not seeing Joy for the story, are you? I didn't even know what sorry, Joy was about. Sorry, I don't I need like, to insult people. I saw, like, one I mean, I tried, half a trailer. I, I tried to on purpose not know what it was about honestly it, but that was because i hate how trailers ruin movies now it it looks but, so promising but on everyone's on jennifer lawrence's jock right now i mean they've been on her jock especially since the um but it's fine to see a movie for the actress that's fine oh yeah it'll showcase their Just acting skills get something else from the movie other than the fact that she looks like a child well, it's it's just the they have an epilogue at the end where of course it's a movie about her life, so they age the character. But you know no, she doesn't look. They just put they, they just they just put white makeup on yeah, her. They no. they just make her paler. Yeah, no, she she literally looks like she hadn't seen the sun in a couple of weeks, maybe a few months. But she's she's basically the same baby face, no wrinkles, no twitches. But at least no it's only more... for like five minutes. Right, right. So, Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys enjoy, you know, your New Year's, your New Year's, your Christmas Eve, you know, your Christmas morning with your presents and whatnot. Or if you're in the middle of Kwanzaa, or I think it's the last day of Hanukkah today. Obviously, we're savages. We don't know anything about holidays. We only know it's Christmas because the job told us. Oh, uh, and just want to mention, if this hallway seems not like a movie theater or the area around it, that's because we call Uber home before we started this video because we were so yeah, tired. No. Um, well, this technically isn't just out to sea anyway, so I guess you wouldn't technically expect that. So. All right, nerds. We will wish you... A Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.